If you're watching this, then I suppose you found me lying here. I can't really imagine what that would be like, but I imagine it wasn't pleasant, so for that I apologize. It's hard, it's hard to explain to someone who's no doubt content and happy with their life exactly how it feels to wake up every morning just, just dreading the day ahead. Right now, I, I just want to let go of everything. To be rid of the constant suffocation of trying to improve, to be someone, to climb and achieve. Only to be looked. Only to be overlooked again and again by some Sunday League footballer with my shoes. I'm... I know that being realistic isn't wanting to, to kill yourself. But to be honest, I can, I can never see myself being any more than, than second best. Average, his mother would have said. <laughs> I'm so tired of being average. It's no longer an option. Why, why doesn't anybody see me? I'm here. I'm just as good as the next person. I've put three years into this job and still people forget my name. But then why should I pretend to be something I'm not just to get a promotion, yeah? <laughs> I mean, for some of these people, it doesn't stretch much further than work nights out and Who's fucking who in the office? Oh, fucking what? I'm, I'm just not really about getting blind drunk in a, a weather spoons with people I'd rather send faxes to than watch me piss in the street. If you know what I mean. And I know I'm worth more than my job. It's not some special gift to offer society, but there's got to be more. There's, there's got to be more than sending spreadsheets and staff bowling matches. I just seem to get in the way of, of what's really important. I mean, maybe this makes me sound like a prick, but I went to university, you know? And for what? So I could ruin the knees of my suit looking for files on the floor. Last week, I went round to my mother's house and I took all of the pills I could find from her bathroom. I've been carrying them around ever since, just longing for a time when, when things would get bad enough. Uh, bad enough for me to just box a lot. And today, when I was sat at my desk, staring at the calendar, thinking of last night's microwave meal, I knew. I knew I should get it bloody over with. <laughs> things... Uh, things haven't been the same... since she caught me looking at those pictures on the internet. But sitting there, alone on my birthday, I don't think I could have felt any lower. I remember the night she came into the room without me noticing and, and she, she just stood there. I didn't even have to turn around to, to picture the expression on her face. I could feel, I could feel the mixture of, of shock and of fear just fill the room like some god-awful scent. I knew she'd want to challenge me on it. Who wouldn't? If there is a god, some sick fucking blotter acid monster of a god, then he was certainly looking favourably on me in that moment. The phone went, and I thought she'd just leave it ringing. But after a moment, she skulked off in silence to 
speak to her mother or, or Dave from school or whoever. And I managed to get downstairs without catching her eye. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought making us both dinner... <laughs> at least I wouldn't go hungry. So I... I dumped a load of sleeping pills in hers. And I managed to get to about seven o'clock the next evening without having to explain myself. <laughs> Being with Emma has never really been about love. More a sort of convenience that we've clung to ever since we met. Five years of stepping over the fact that we're both too lonely to look for something better. And I suppose, <laughs> I suppose she's always had a job to make up for the shortfalls in our relationship. And I know she's been fucking that Dave prick, and I just know it, but... I hate confrontations, and I... I can't stand two days of silence over one little argument. With every movement of person, purpose from fuck you. And fuck you! <laughs> Some of those pills must have been... God knows how old. I remember, I remember lying there in the hospital with the bones of my legs sticking out at right angles while the doctors played rock, paper, scissors outside my cubicle. Then they'd shovel something down my throat and I'd smile sweetly for the rest of the day. Glorious. You know that they put you on Prozac so that the people in other countries think that Britain is happy. They're horrible. Sitting in the bottom of my stomach, slowly seeping into my belly. It's all, it's all tingly. <laughs> that's not right. That's, that's fucking Mike Skinner teaching the kids about drugs. <laughs> I just, I just have this, these thoughts. I have these, these thoughts about suffocating my boss. <laughs> like real, real graphic images that fight their way into my consciousness when I see him. Sat there behind his desk, playing with a stapler and looking smug as fuck. The fact that he's, what, two years older than me? Doesn't seem to stop him exercising his seniority every time I run into him. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not a slacker. I've never missed a day off work in three years. Three years of watching him fucking get helped up the ladder by a rich uncle or a good right foot. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Who am I even talking to? I should have left a note. I, th I thought this might be a, a better way. A better way of what? Making it easier for people. <laughs> Fuck! It's just that we'd all be a lot better off without him. Maybe... Maybe she felt sorry for me. Like, I feel sorry for myself. Fuck. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why didn't I call someone first? Emma? Anyone? I hurt inside. This isn't taking the pain away. More than anything, I just wanted to be loved by whoever for whatever reason, and I never got that. So if you find it, take it and hold on to it as hard as you fucking can. I don't know what I fucking sound like.